For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another update video for you guys today. My voice is still a little bit off. I'm still under the weather a little bit as far as uh, my voice is concerned, so I hope it's not too bad for you guys out there listening. But uh, as always, I just want to wish you guys a happy holiday season. Another Christmas just passed. That's how I lost my voice. I was actually at the Eagles game uh, on Christmas. Uh, so I hope you guys are having a safe and happy holiday season. I hope you guys are getting everything you want for the holidays, everything, you know, all that good stuff. So Merry Woo! Christmas, Happy Holidays to you and yours let's go and let's get right into the ratings uh starting off at the very top i have to question uh patrick mahomes and travis kelsey i keep waiting thinking at some point that those guys one of those two guys at least will lose that 99 rating it hasn't happened yet but i think the the chiefs are like nine and six now and neither one of them are really having a great season i mean the offense is a joke and they're the two biggest faces of that offense so i'm kind of thinking at some point um, you know, get off your ass, EA. I mean, you got no problem dropping uh, everybody else when they lose a game or two. But for some reason, the Chiefs' top two guys in Travis Kelsey and uh, Patrick Mahomes haven't lost their rating yet. And I think it's time EA grows a set. Let me know in the comments section if you guys agree with me. Those are the two two guys I'm looking at that probably deserve a little bit of a ratings drop at some point. The highest guy that actually got a ratings change in this update, though, was George Kittle, who I love George Kittle. I'm not a, I hate the Niners because I'm an Eagles fan. But there's so many players on the Niners that I really do appreciate, and George Kittle is one of them. I love a tight end that you know plays just hard like he does. He got a, a plus one up to a 97. Uh, it looks like it was mostly just awareness. He got a plus two. I mean, awareness, whenever that goes up, the ratings just go up fast. So it looks like that's all they really did. Lamar Jackson, the MVP runner-up, or the MVP front runner, I should say. I didn't mean to say runner up, but he is uh, plus one as well, up to a 96, which is kind of, you know, I mean, I don't know what to make about that. What do you guys, what do you guys think about that? He's a 96 overall, and he's looking like the MVP. Is he having that good of a year? Should he be rated higher? Is he adequately rated? I know his stats don't necessarily look like an MVP at this point, so I don't really know how to feel about that. But he gets a plus one. He's up to a 95. I'm not really sure what the actual uh, ratings change was, though, as I'm going through it pretty quick here. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the only thing that really matters with Lamar Jackson at the end of the day is things like speed and throw power. But, uh, yeah, he's up to a 96. Probably should be a little bit higher. Roquan Smith, for some reason, went down a point, though. Uh, one of the best linebackers in the game. Uh, I usually go, I mean, they just won a huge game, a huge primetime game against the Niners. I don't know why any uh, Ravens players would be going backwards, but he goes down a point. Um, Stephon Diggs went down an awareness point, but he didn't go down a full point yet. So it's something to watch out for because I know he hasn't really been uh, performing too much lately with the Bills. I mean, I know they're, they're getting their offense in other ways, but uh, it's something to watch out for. Amon Ra St. Brown, uh, he went up a point. He's up to a 92. I want to say he started the year at like, a, at like a 90 or like an 89 or something like that. So he's slowly risen as he's had a pretty good year. Um, not a lot of movement, though. I mean, as I'm going through the, the upper the upper echelon players here, the 90 overall players, I'm not really seeing a ton. Mike Evans, who I think leads the league in receiving touchdowns right now, I think he has like 13 of those, which you know makes sense. The guy's a six foot six monster. He gets a plus one. He's up to a 91. I made fun of it when they when they pushed him up to a 90 in a in a recent update to celebrate his uh, well, it's like his 10th straight year with a thousand yards. He starts the game every year at a 90, so he's up to a 91. This is like the first time he's been higher than a 90 in like forever. So this is an occasion. Amari Cooper is up to a 90. That's another guy definitely should be up higher. The performance he just put out. I think he had like 254 yards or something like that. That's definitely worth a plus two. Amari Cooper's having an amazing year. Uh, EA is really not, you know, they're being a little chintzy when it comes to some of their ratings changes, in my opinion. I think that there's um, some definite candidates here that aren't getting approached. Uh, is really, really why I didn't do this last week. It was because it felt like they're, they're just not really, last week was kind of weak. They didn't really change a lot of players. This week is kind of looking the same way. Joe Mixon gets a point. He gets a uh, another plus one awareness, jumps up the point uh, to a 90 overall. Uh, but it just seems like there's not a lot of players moving this this time, this late in the year. One player, though, that is on a serious downward trend, and I'm not really following the uh, Rams too closely. I know Cooper I know Cooper Cup isn't necessarily doing as good as Puka Nakua is, but Cooper Cup down three points. He lost one speed, three acceleration, meaning this guy, I don't know, maybe they think that the injury he's lost a step. I don't know. He also lost an agility point. I mean, these are massive areas to lose. You know what I mean? Like, he's down at 89, which is bad enough. That's really low for a guy that was like a 99 not too long ago. But to lose speed, acceleration, and agility is a killer. Uh, and he's just going down into just about everything. Lost three catch. I mean, this guy, he's just another dude now in this game. And not too long ago, he might have been the best receiver in football. So, it is what it is. Travis Etienne went down a point. 
He's down to an 89. I thought he was having a pretty decent year. That's a little surprising. Uh, I don't see, I, I feel like I went right over my boy Jalen Hurts. I don't know if he didn't move at all because I'm constantly watching. I know he had a pretty decent game. I don't know if they, they knocked him for that interception touchdown that was clearly the receiver falling over, but we'll keep going until we find him. Another player that went up is uh, David Njoku, who's been on a tear since, um, you know, since Joe Flacco took over. That's another guy. He probably should have went up two points. He went up two awareness points once again to an 87 overall, but the way he's playing, I think he's got like five touchdowns in the last three games he probably should be up a little bit higher he's he's looking like an elite tight end right now so he gets up one point to an 87 i guess that's uh that's something kyle hamilton two interceptions in a primetime game only went up a point another guy who has been having a monster year all year he's just not like he's kind of like a joker on that defense he doesn't really have like a, a set spot they use him all over the field so maybe that's why but he's only up to an a7 i feel like they're they're definitely uh not serving him justice i know early in the year some of my comment section said they thought he should be in the defensive player of the year race um which is interesting an interesting take chris olave up one point to an 86 um you know, he's having, a, I don't really know what the Saints are doing, but I know he's having a good year. Here's one, like I said, I'm looking out for ones that I don't think really make a lot of sense. Dallas Goddard went down a point. Well, I know I'm an Eagles fan. I got that. But I think he had like seven catches for like 80 yards against the Giants. What from that performance did he go down a point? Was it because he slipped on that interception? Did they did they knock him for that? Uh, as they knock him on catch and everything? He's down A6. Nobody believes Dallas Goddard is an A6 overall player. I think most people give him a little more respect than that, but not EA. Now, the biggest one is definitely uh, the next one that I see. I mean, I went through this whole list expecting to see some big names because I just I just didn't see a lot of big names. But this is definitely the biggest name on this list, and it's Brock Purdy, who went down two full points to an 85. Now, I know he had a bad game. I mean, you know, EA, he was kind of the last couple of weeks, he was like the darling of the game for EA. Uh, if you go back as far as week 13 this is considered week 16 and week 13 he was in 85 also um if i go back to week 12 he was in 83 so it's like you can see that as the mvp discussion started ramping up that they really started like fi like you know fixing his ratings i mean if you go back to the, the beginning of this year the launch ratings for him was in 83 so going up 12 points is a lot he's in 85 now so that's a, that's that's a pretty big increase his week one rating alone went up three points so it's like i don't think there's a guy in the game that's had more movement throughout the year than Brock Purdy, and now he's moving backwards. He's going back down. He had a negative six. His awareness went down six whole points, uh, which I would think, you know, considering like one boost of awareness or two point boost in awareness, a lot of times can move a guy up. Uh, that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big deal. Um, you know, what I mean, to go down six points. I mean, it's not. I'm surprised he only went down two points because of that. But yeah, four interceptions in a game is not good. And uh, that's, you know, getting benched in a primetime game is not good. So I guess Brock Purdy's coming back down to earth. But that's definitely the biggest name on this entire list. I mean, he's probably, you know, with that, I probably know who the guy is going to be on the cover of this. So I'm going to end the video there because there really aren't a lot of other, I mean, some names, you know what I mean? Like Deshaun Watson went down a point. Ryan Tannehill went down two points. You know, they're not even playing. But uh, as far as, like, the biggest name on this list, Brock Purdy um, coming back down to earth, Thanks to the Ravens is probably the biggest one. I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see me do this video every week, uh, and hopefully I'll get to do another one, like a gameplay update on the 4th of January because last month the gameplay update for December came out on the 6th. That was the first week. So I'm guessing that another one could come out the first or second week of January. That's my guess. Uh, but if you guys want to see me continue to do these and do uh, update videos like title updates and stuff like that as well, please make sure to be subscribed. Hit like button, leave me in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.